Hi guys, it's Kara, and I'm going to start sharing some of my September hauls with you. I did want to just kind of mention that you may have noticed I didn't really do a large August haul video, which is because I didn't have a lot of things that I purchased in that month, and most of them were larger items, which I did individual videos on. So no haul video for August. Um, but there are probably going to be quite a few things in this video by the time I'm done with the month. Uh, mainly because uh, my birthday was at the beginning of the month. It was on the 2nd to be exact. And, you know, when you get older, um, you know, your birthday, it's not that people didn't, you know, wish me happy birthday and all that jazz. My husband took me out to dinner. It was, it was fine. It was nice. But, you know, when you're older, people don't really make a big deal out of your birthday, which is totally fine. Um, unless of course it's a big birthday, like, you know, you're turning 40 or you're turning 50 or whatever, which you probably might not want to celebrate anyway. So I decided that I would get myself a few things this month, um, because it was my birthday month. So I did. Some of them have shown up. Um, anyway, that's my excuse for this month because I did do a little bit pr more purchasing than I had been. I was pretty good in August. Um, I only got a few larger items that I'd been wanting for a while and I really kind of controlled my spending. Um, so anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and get started. Uh, the first thing I got this month were some more of the Neocolor um, crayons or wax pastels. I actually had this little set. Um, I've had it for a while. It's a nice little starter set. There's 10 in here. Those are the colors. But I had tried to make one of Courtney's, who's Little Raven Inks, uh, Nook Dwellers, and realized I just wanted some more colors. So luckily, my local art store, for those of you who are in Anchorage, this is Blaine's, um, sells them individually. So I went and got a whole bunch of colors. I actually went twice. I got a whole bunch of pretty kind of lighter colors, and then I got back and thought, you know, if I ever want to use these for like hair or things like that, I need some darker ones. So I went back a second time, literally like two days in a row, and purchased some more. So just so you can kind of get an idea of the colors that I have and what they look like swatched out, I will show them to you. Because you really can't tell just looking at the crayons. So I'm gonna hold these up and if you see a little X by it like that, that means it was in that first set of 10, okay? So I have all of these. And if you want to check them out, obviously you can, you know, pause your, pause the video and all that jazz. And then I have a few more over here. Now, I I'm, don't have any intentions to fill up these squares, but you never know, and it just worked out, you know, that I had a whole bunch of empty spots when I did the swatching. So there they are. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with them, they are from, and I'm sure I'm not going to say this, say this right, but Karen Dosh, that's the uh, brand right there. Um, they're Swiss made. These are water soluble wax pastels. And I have been kind of playing around with them, not only for that little nook dweller, but I have been watching a few people's, uh, pe people who create little girls and faces and things like that. And one of them in particular uses these quite a bit. Um, I actually uh, bought one for online classes and I'll share that with you guys later on, but I wanted more of these to kind of play with. So along with those, I also picked up just a couple, like three, um, acrylic paints from Michaels the other day because that same person um, uses acrylic paint a little bit and she has a set of girls where she uses some kind of really neon pink paint and I wasn't sure which one I was going to like because you can never tell until you use them so I got those and then I got this color just maybe to help um, with skin tones and stuff because I figured I could darken it up with other colors so got those um, also at Michael's, I picked up one of the Jane Davenport Butterfly books, the um, canvas one where you can kind of create your own cover. I have seen a few people make some really cool covers, and I don't obviously really need another Traveler's Notebook, but I kind of wanted, kind of felt the urge to make one. So I went with it, I picked one up, I think I used a 40% off coupon to do that. Um, I also picked up something from uh, Rowena and if you remember when I shown you showed you let's see if I can talk today guys I showed you the passport seed right this one and I showed you 
my beautiful A6 folio. She had given me a little sample of this leather. This is the Lily of the Valley leather um, because I'd asked her to and she was very generous in sending it to me. She had also put a little note on there that basically said, hey, you know, if you want to get one, supplies are running low, you should probably order it. So of course I did. I picked it up and it came, I think, yesterday. So this is my little passport, Lily of the Valley. I did it with um, a red elastic, or asked for it with red elastic, I guess. Um, I think it just, it's gorgeous, it pops, it's such a pretty color. This would be great for like, you know, Christmas, if I wanted to do, you know, a December daily, that kind of thing. And of course, um, you usually get a little piece of leather with this, and this is a really thin piece. I think it's kind of similar to what she makes um, her pockets out of, I think. And then, you know, the little note and the tea bag is in here as well, and then it had a um, insert in it, and then she sent a little extra one in the package as well. These are really cute. They're um, dot grid, they're perforated, really nice. So, my little passport collection is now, or now includes this gorgeous Lily of the Valley, the seed that I got last time, and my road, road runner. So um, I think you guys can sense a theme. I'm really liking the passport size. Seems to be the one that I keep coming back to. I think I'm actually even gonna maybe be planning in a size like this next year. So we'll see. But anyway, there is my newest Sojourner. It's gorgeous as always. I love it. I'm looking forward to using it. And I think I have one or two last things to show you. Um, one of the other people that I follow on Instagram is Babette, and I cannot for life of me remember her full profile name right now, maybe Babette Marie, but I will link it down below. And besides um, some very pretty um, knotted bookmarks, she also sells these little beaded charms right there. So I ordered a couple. I ordered this one, which is just gorgeous. It's a really pretty pink color. It's actually, let's see, kind of similar to my bag, right? So I ordered that one from her and let's see, things are kind of all over the place in my desk, guys. Sorry. And I ordered, let me get the other one in here, kind of a turquoisey, tealy colored one. And they're beautiful. I'll, I'll put a link down below to her website. They come on the little lobster clasp, ooh, which you can't really see, but it's there. There you go. Um, and I know people do all sorts of different things with them. I attached it to this little paper clip and I'm clipping it to the page that I'm on, on in my journal and then closing it up. And then when I have it closed, it's dangling up there. So, and I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do with this one, if I'm gonna add another paper clip or put it with something else, but it's, it's adorable. I love them both. And then they came in this cute little bag and had this cute little tag, which I'm gonna be putting in my journal. And then this little pocket was in there. Hopefully you can see her little stamp right there. Cute little paper clip. And then inside the pocket, it's a couple, um, Project Life cards, and then some of her original art, which is awesome. I'm going to put these in one of my two journals. I don't know which one yet, but I love that. I love getting original art from people. Um, I just think it's, it's really cool to have a little piece of someone's talent, someone's gift that you can put into your own journal. So there was that. Oh, and then one last thing. While I, when I got those Neo Colors at the local art store, I also found um, Strathmore watercolor postcards, um, which I thought would be kind of fun. Not necessarily, I don't know if I'm gonna like actually make a scene or whatever on here, even if you just wanted to do something abstract. You know, you get the front page, so it's just where you can create something, and then the back page. I'm sure you could also do something on there, but there's a place for the address stamp, a little note, and you know, I thought this might be something kind of fun um, to send out to other little crafty people, little artists people I admire, uh, people I talk to online. So pick them up. We'll see what I create with those. 
And I have one other thing to share. This is um, a larger, it's not super large, but it's large for me, haul. I'm gonna actually uh, be back in a minute because I need to clean off some space and um, show you what I got from another online store. So be right back. Okay guys, I made some room. I haven't taken this out of the box yet. I just kind of wanted to show you this and I'm, I'm not sure I'm gonna get it all on camera, but this is the side of the package that I've opened up. I'm just gonna kind of pull things out and show them to you. This is from, I believe it's pronounced Joggles. Um, it's where I got those really cute Danielle Donaldson stamps that I showed you, the, the palette and um, different things. So let me pull this stuff out and I will show you what I got. Let's see how this is gonna come out. Okay. I think the rest is just packing. Material. All right, guys. So, first of all, totally cute tissue paper. That's gonna be awesome to use in my journal, so I'm going to try and not destroy all of it when I rip into it. And this is a list of everything that I ordered, so in case I forget what something is called. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna keep this to the side. All right. Okay. I'm gonna move this just a little bit. Okay. So. Oh my gosh, this tissue paper is taped really well. Okay. So this is some craft paper that I ordered. I cannot remember. It is two yards of 75 pound craft paper. Um, I think I've mentioned before how much I like it. And I thought it would be really cool to have some of this to create things to put into my journal. So there you go. I ordered that. I'm going to put that to the side because it's kind of large. I also ordered some deli paper because they sell it. Um, oh, and by the way, this paper was extremely cheap. Like I said, this is two yards of 75 pound craft paper. It was $1.23. This, these uh, deli paper, which is 30 sheets, I don't remember the size, was $1.66. So I got those two things. And then I picked up this um, decoupage paper. I wanted to try it out. They have a whole bunch of patterns. If you guys remember, I got some really cute stamps from this brand, which sadly I have not tried, but I will soon. And I noticed that they had all this tissue paper as well. So I just thought I had to try it. And I can't remember, let's see, this is called Twinkle. Hopefully you can kind of see. So I'm hoping um, this will be fun to use in my journal as well. Okay, so everything else seems to be bagged up. So let me pull out some of the bags. So here's the first one. I picked up quite a few colors of the um, Diane, I'm gonna do it wrong again. I always do this the wrong way. It's Dina Wakely um, acrylic paint. Oh, and look, they all came in these cute Ziploc bags. I don't know about you guys, but I love to save these things um, to keep things in my like um, traveling bag or whatever that are you know potentials for leakage. I love those sizes. So I have Blackberry. This is actually bigger than I thought it would be, but just for comparison's sake, there's kind of the regular acrylic paint you get at like Michael's or Joanne's. So there's Blackberry, Elephant, and Blushing. I have some of the larger ones. I actually just moved my paint next to me. So I have some of these, right? But I wanted some of the smaller ones too. So. The bigger ones are two fluid ounces, and this is one fluid ounce, okay? So I got that, and here's another set. And the reason you're gonna see me with kind of more paints um, than anything else is because I've figured out over time as I art journal, I'm not as much into the sprays. I have a ton of them, and I use them occasionally, but I just don't enjoy them as much. I really like to paint, so that's what I'm going to be doing more of. There's white, there is turquoise, and there is ruby. And I think I have maybe one more set in here. Let me see, yeah. It's hard to find a lot of these colors 
in stock at the same place. So when I found quite a few that I liked, I just grabbed them. Um, if you guys know of a good place to get them, let me know. Here is magenta and evergreen and night. Okay, I think that's all of those that I got. Looking forward to trying those out. I'm sure I'll swatch them at some point. You guys will see them. Let's see. Um, okay, everything is really nicely bagged up, which is very cool. So I picked up a few trading card things, ATC trading cards. I used to, when I had that online um, community, we did a lot of swapping. And I thought it might be fun to see if anybody wanted to do artist trading cards. Um, and when I saw this kind of stuff, I thought it would be so much fun. I missed it. I really liked making just these little small creations. You know, they're, what are they, about two by three or something like that? Two and a half by three and a half. And they're just a ton of fun. So they had, and yes, you can cut these yourself, but these weren't that expensive. They had them pre-cut in the Bristol paper. Um, 20 of them, this is 100 pounds, and then I found this other brand that has um, different like mixed media papers that you can use. And then Joggles themselves make not only large stencils, but look at these! Cute little ATC stencils. So I wanted to try one before I got a whole bunch, but how adorable are those? Super cute. I'm kind of hoping that um, maybe some of my online art, you know, more artistic <laughs> artistic friends would want to do like a swap again. I think that'd be kind of fun. Um, I also picked up a new thing. Um, I will tell you, if you go check out uh, Joggles, she, they, they do a ton of videos on their products and that's what drew me in. So beware of those videos. But they have these Marabou fashion liners. They're fabric paint. Um, but you can use them on a lot of other things. And so I thought, how fun would these be? Because you know, you guys know one of my art journals has a actually fabric pages in it. And I thought this might be a lot of fun to try. Plus you can use it on paper. So I just stuck with a black and a white to dry them out because I'm envisioning like how it would be really cool to, you know, draw circles around things, scribble, that kind of stuff. So that's why I stuck with black and white to try them. And I think, I don't know if they're still on sale, but they were on sale when I bought these, like 40% off. And then this is another thing that I wanted to try. I actually have other colors of this, um, not in this brand. They have a brand there that's Amsterdam, and this is titanium white ink. I have a few other colors that I've gotten various places, um, and I'm thinking I'm gonna start using this again in, in art journaling. So I wanted a white to add to my collection. So I thought I would try that. And then they were doing a special, and I don't remember how long the special ran, but basically <clears throat> for every like $15 you spent, um, you got a little Amsterdam acrylic paint. And they just picked the colors for you, which is totally fine. And I'm actually kind of happy with these because they gave me colors I wouldn't have bought for myself, but, well, maybe this one I would have bought for myself. But anyway, they gave me a Trying to see if there's a name on here. Um, Reflex Green. There you go. And Primary Magenta. And Orange Azo. So, three other new acrylics to try out. So, that's pretty cool. Um, and I want to say. So it was really inexpensive. I mean, considering all the stuff that I got, um, I think I spent with shipping like right around 60 maybe, something like that, 50 or 60. And I got a lot of different little goodies that I'm gonna be trying out in my art journal. So um, I will put a link down below, of course, to Joggles and, did I mention any other place? To the Sojourner site, um, to the Bet site as well, in case you guys wanna check them out. And I do have a few more things coming. So you will see those before too long. Um, always, always leave questions down below, guys, if I didn't explain anything or you want more information or whatever. I always um, love getting your comments and questions. Thanks so much for watching, and I will be back soon with more goodies to share. Bye, guys. You guys probably recognize this. This is my um, B6 Slim 
Sojourner um, in the Tola leather. And um, I'm actually going to include it as part of a fundraiser item. So basically the organization that I work for is getting ready to host a national conference and one of the parts of this conference is to um, kind of raffle off different items for a charity and we've chosen a children's charity and um, all of the members of management or a lot of them have decided to put together kind of baskets for the fundraiser and I realized that I had this really the perfect Traveler's Notebook, and I thought that this would be a really good base for the fundraiser. So I am going to kind of do a starter set, like a Traveler's Notebook starter set for my basket. I'm going to give them this gorgeous uh, Sojourner, like I said, B6 Slim. I picked up uh, three inserts from Paper Penguin Company. I got this one, which is a blank, in case anybody wants to sketch. This one, which is uh, Tomo River paper in the grid, and then this one is just regular paper in a grid. And then I went through my stash and I actually had an insert from Yellow Paper House, it's watercolor paper, that I'm going to include. So they're going to get four inserts in this little um, notebook. That's the first thing. And I'm going to show you some more stuff that I got from Jet Pens, which is why I'm kind of telling you about it. I also picked up, of course, some little passport size um, notebooks for myself. These three are the ones that I got from um, Paper Penguin Company. I just love this cover, so I got that. This is Grid, I can't remember what I got now, Grid, and a little weekly one, because I think I'm going to be switching, maybe for the new year, maybe sooner, into passport size planning. And then this is a little bullet journal, so which is basically just numbered pages that, that are Grid with an index pages. Uh, which I thought was cute. I also, each month, get the little insert, the passport size insert from Coco Daisy, which I really haven't shown you guys. They're absolutely adorable. Um, I haven't really used them much, so if you want to see, like, say, the last six months of them up close, let me know and I can do a separate video on those, but I have that. And then at Michael's, I picked this up. I thought it would be perfect for my little fundraiser basket, Eat Well, Travel Often. So this fits inside and I'm planning on kind of arranging this in some sort of basket along with some other goodies I'm going to show you here in a minute and this is going to be my fundraiser um, my my basket for the fundraiser okay so let me show you some other little odds and ends before I get to the jet pens one um, I ordered a couple little things from a company that I can't remember the name of, but I will put the links in, in um, down below if you're curious. And really the reason that I did that is because they were one of the few companies I could find the Stabilo pencil that I was looking for, um, for a reasonable price. And I had also been wanting to pick up um, a little nib set like this for art journaling. So this particular pencil is water soluble. I'll give you a look at the name. And I basically wanted a black one because I did an online or I bought an online class with um, Mindy Lacefield uh, and she uses this particular pencil and I had tried some that I had that worked with uh, kind of using you know water and washing the pencil and I didn't like the looks of it as much as I did this pencil um, so I picked it up it does, didn't come with a cover these covers um, are from Jet Pens I've had them for a while and they also had a few other colors. They had a brown, so I picked that up because I thought it might be kind of um, nice to sketch with that too. I've actually been using these. You can see the difference. I've used the black one, really. I haven't used the brown one yet. So you can tell I've used them quite a bit. And I will be ordering more of these because I absolutely love this pencil. And I will do a video talking a little bit more about that pencil uh, because I did some pencil swatches in one of my journals. So this was from one company. Then this weekend, I ran to Joann's for no particular reason other than to look around and you can tell I've been working in my art journal because I now have paint on my desk. I need to get another mat but just didn't get around to it. Anyway, while I was there I found this cute little container which I thought would be cute to hold these little nibs because you know me in containers and it's pink. And then I also found this one which I was originally thinking I was going to use for those nibs. Um, but I'm also thinking this might be really good for 
um, a portable container for the um, ink tents blocks if I were to break them up a little bit, which kills me to think about, but um, either that or pieces of pastel, I'm not sure, but I thought this would be kind of a cute little portable thing. So I went ahead and got it anyway, because again, you guys know I like containers, I'm all about that. And I think they were having a sale when I was there, and I don't get multiples of a lot of washi. Um, I actually think I have too much, and I'm trying to use it, so I haven't really ordered a lot, but this gold, or sorry, silver kind of crackled pattern is one of my absolute faves. So when I saw it there, I picked up an extra one of those, and then I couldn't resist these little Diane Reevely um, die cuts that you can color. There's a look at them. You guys have probably seen them. I just think they're really cute. I have not I have a ton of coloring books and I haven't done a lot with them, but these are so small. I think they'd be pretty easy to finish up in a, you know, in one setting. Okay, and then one last thing before I show you my jet pens order. I have been um, really liking um, like individual artists, uh, mixed media artists, things like that. And there's someone on one of them on Instagram that I follow, I noticed did some sticker sheets and stuff, and I thought that'd be kind of fun to have some of those to put into my art journals and stuff. This is, I think, um, on Instagram, I think she's Robin Marie, but I will put her links down below too. And these are basically kind of some like washi tapes. These are on sticker paper. And yes, I could probably create something similar, but I think it's just kind of a cool touch to have something someone else created as part of your journal. And you know, I like stickers, They're, I, I kind of like them because I have a written journal and then I have several art journals and I like to occasionally put just one little pretty sticker or one little pretty thing in my written journal and these are kind of nice for that too. And then along with that, she included a few prints of her work, which I thought was awesome. So here, let's see, here is like I said, I will link them down below, but here's her information, which I think is kind of a cool card. Okay, and then I got this, and obviously you could put it whatever way you wanted to. And this one, and this one, which all of which are going to be, and they're just blank on the back side, all of which are gonna be really cool uh, tip-ins for my art journal which this last weekend I had a ton of fun playing in. Um, I didn't really create many full pages, but I've been really big into the backgrounds. Have you guys ever done that? Like where you've gotten stuck just on like one thing you're having fun creating? I mean, I'm already thinking of other backgrounds I can do um, and I'm not even worried about how I'm gonna finish them off if that makes any sense. So let me show you the jet pens order and what I'm going to include in that um, pouch with the other goodies, okay? There are a few things, just a couple in here for me. I wanted to show you how nicely they package things up. Now you're gonna have to deal with the noises, but maybe I'll just edit this part out. Hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull these things out as I can a little bit on the side. And basically my goal was to just kind of give them a little starter set um, for a traveler's notebook. And I didn't know, you know, what kind of person would bid on it, if they'd be more artistic, more of a written journaler. So I kind of tried to put a few things in there so they can kind of get a sampling. So first thing, I got a 12 piece set of these pencils, the Outcome with Erasers. I have these in the, I think 24 set, and I like them. They're a decent little starter set, so I thought if they wanted to sketch in color or whatever, they could have those. I also got this little um, watercolor set. These are pearlescent colors. Now, obviously, this isn't a super great set, but um, I've used these in the past. It'll give them a nice little color wash of a background if they want to, and if they find that they like playing around with it, they can always invest in nicer ones if they want. So there's those two things. Uh, let's see, I got a little travel brush with the little um, container for water to take with them. I got them, let's see, Woo. a pencil sharpener. I mean, I gave them colored pencils, right? So they need to have um, 
a sharpener. I'm also going to go through my collection because I have some black wing pencils and I'm going to give them a couple black wing pencils. I got them this set of the thin washi tape. Um, the other thing about this that I should mention is I don't know if um, the person who bids on this is going to be male or female. So I'm trying to keep it like gender neutral, if you know what I mean? So that any, you know, anyone might want to bid on it. Because obviously the goal is to raise money for the charity. So a few other things that of course are all wrapped up. So this one, oh my gosh, you guys, this is a ruler that they wrapped up. Um, this is for the fundraiser. It's also a ruler I don't have. It's a new one that they've come out with, which we may never get to see because it's all wrapped up. Okay, I think I found the end, maybe. I hope you guys are watching this because this is seriously how they package stuff to make sure that it gets to you in the right condition. Okay, so here is oh, the little oh, ruler. Black on one side, white on the other, super thin, super portable. Um, I'm just trying to show you all the things that are for the fundraiser before I show you the few little things I got. I picked up one of my favorite gel pens in blue-black. This is a Uniball Signo. It is the pretty fine point, ooh, sorry, tip. And then I got a Tiki Graphic in the point two, another one of my personal favorites in case they want to sketch or write in ink. And then I got them, ooh, dropped one. Okay, that's the duplicate anyway. So they had, and I had been wanting to try these glue sticks. Now they're supposed to smell. There is grapefruit. Is it grapefruit? Grapefruit or citrus, guys? I don't remember. Maybe citrus? And rose and I think it's mint. Let me look at the invoice really quick. That would be helpful. Okay, it is grapefruit, fresh, floral, and rose. Okay, so grapefruit, fresh floral and rose and I will these three are mine I have a duplicate of the grapefruit that's going in this so I will let you guys know in a later video because these are all super wrapped up tight if they actually smell good and if you've used these before or tried them give me a shout out let me know what you think um, I also picked up for myself a solid pink washi because um, I want it for you know writing on when I'm journaling um, and I'm going to gradually start picking up some solid colors. I know I just said I'm trying not to buy a washi, but I don't really have many solid colors this size, which I think these are really great if you want to put a picture or something in your journal and you just want to have a little teeny caption or, you know, the name and a date, that kind of thing. So I picked this up for me. And then the last thing I picked up for me was this Micron. I'm trying to remember why. Oh, because it was... I don't know if it was just because of the color, guys, or if the tip is anything different. Let me look. This is sepia, or yeah, sepia. Archival ink. Ooh. I think it's just because of the color I wanted a brown. It's teeny tiny. I'm thinking I got this for sketch purposes because, believe it or not, every once in a while I am doodling or sketching in pen and it is every once in a while because I'm honestly more comfortable with pencil but um, nonetheless I think this color brown might be kind of nice to sketch with so that is everything that I have to show you right now I have one or two more things coming in and I will add these to the video as they arrive of course as of today it is the night of the 18th so the month is a little half a little bit of a little bit half oh my god you guys it's a little more than half over um obviously my day <laughs> needs to be over because i can't think but i hope you have enjoyed these things that i'm sharing with you um like i said i have a few more things coming in and 
Um, then I'll start putting this all together so you get it near the very end of the month or beginning of October. Um, and I think that's it. All the links that I can provide will be down below. If you have any questions about any of these, let me know. Um, I'm thinking about doing a video on the adhesives that I like to use. So if you guys are interested in that, again, let me know. Um, and I guess that's it for now. Uh, I will see you guys soon with some more hauls. Bye guys. Hey guys, I have a few more hauls for the month of September. I'm gonna start off with this one. I actually picked up these little goodies at a local art store for those of you in Anchorage, just the one that I've mentioned before, Blaine's. Um, I'll start off by showing you just this circle template. I really hadn't intended on getting it, um, but I saw a video done by James Burke where he used one to create his swatch girls, and I had just figured that I would draw the circles myself, but when I stumbled across this at Blaine's, I took it as fate and went ahead and bought it. I also picked up a new Copic multi-liner. Um, I have had these pens, I still have them, um, but I don't have it in a brush nib, so I grabbed this one um, to add to my collection of brush pens. And then while I was looking at that one, I found this Copic drawing pen, which I had never seen before. You guys might have seen it, I just hadn't. Kind of looks like a fountain pen nib, but it's all one piece. It's totally disposable when the ink runs out, the ink runs out, but I thought I would give it a try since I'm getting more into drawing and sketching. And then I was getting ready to do my white um, pen ink comparison video um, several months ago. I don't remember how long ago now. I picked up a whole bunch of white pens from Jet Pens um, to try out and to do kind of a review of. Never got around to doing it and was going to and realized I didn't have like the most basic white pen that everybody is familiar with which was the Secure Jelly Roll. So I picked one of those up as well to add to the review. So along with this um, template another thing that I saw on James's video was this red and blue pencil, which he was using for drawing. Um, and he really, really liked it. And, you know, normally I, I don't often buy tools that somebody else says are great just because I realize that part of the reason they're great is the talent of the person who has it. Um, but I really liked the way it looked when he was drawing with it. And again, since I'm doing more or trying to do more sketching, I use it as an excuse to do an order for an online pencil shop that I'd been wanting to try. I found it online at KW, look at the name, KW Pencil Enterprise. Um, and I thought this was really a cute little note to put on the outside of my invoice. Um, and I picked this up and a couple other goodies and I thought I would share them with you. So first off, it came wrapped like this. This actually had some, I think it was white and black twine um, around it, so it's super cute. And of course I'm going to use the envelope later in my journal in some way. But, um, let's see, I picked up uh, a couple spares of this particular pencil. Now when I got them, they came uh, unsharpened like this. Okay, and they were really relatively inexpensive. Uh, let's see, does the invoice say? The invoice, let's see. Okay, well, because I got more than one kind, I don't remember which one is which, but anyway, they weren't that expensive. So I picked up a couple spares, and while I was looking around for these, a couple others came up, and I thought I would give them a try. This one is from Tombow, and I love Tombow as a brand. I thought it was awesome. And I liked this one, because as you'll notice, in com by comparison, the red and blue of the Tombow one, which is the bottom, is basically the same. Whereas on this top one, obviously you get a lot more red lead than the blue. So I thought I would give that a try. And then this one is a Cron Dosh pen and I can't, a pencil, sorry. And I can't remember, but one of these I think is also water soluble. Um, I will try them out and let you know. Um, and I thought it was kind of cool and it was also a slightly different shade of blue. So, you know, I had to get them for comparison purposes. I will um, either do a little video or post a picture on Instagram, uh, something like that. And while I was looking, um, I found the uh, pencil guides or whatever you want to call them um, that I purchased before at Jet Pens, and I really like these. So I picked up another set of silver. 
Okay, and you'll, I'll show you why I like those in another video. I also picked up a second one of my favorite eraser, which is this one by Tombow. It is the sand eraser, so it's kind of like got a regular-ish eraser at one end, and then the other end is more gritty, so that you can, you know, if you make a mistake on certain kinds of paper, you can just kindly, kind of lightly rub the paper, and it sands it off. Now, obviously, it's not going to work for everything, but it does work for a lot. I also spotted a really cute um, red and blue eraser, which I don't remember the details of right now, but I thought was really cute, and I do have a thing for erasers as well. Um, and then also I saw this really adorable small um, portable pink sharpener, and I liked it because while it was also small, it closes and you know keeps all the shavings inside. So got that. And then lastly, they had another kind of what I'm calling a pencil um, guard, which looks like this. So it's much smaller by comparison, you can see. Um, and I thought I would try them out. Now these you buy um, individually, and I liked that they were a little bit smaller, but I wasn't sure how they were gonna fit. Oh, they are much more snug, at least on that particular pencil. Um, the Oh, I might like these more. Hmm. I'll try them out on some pencils and let you guys know. These, I like them, but they're really long, and depending on the pencil, sometimes they're a little loose. You guys can see they have a little opening. You can squeeze them a little bit, but I wanted to try these to see if these would be any more snug, and so far they are. So that's what I got from KW Pencil Enterprise. Um, really liked that. Loved the the packaging, of course, and like I said, I will be using that in an upcoming video. A couple other small things I picked up. I ordered from um, Paint and Letters, who's an Etsy seller, someone I also follow on uh, Instagram. And I had seen a while back this cute little sample wheel of watercolors. And they were all sold out, and when she got them back in stock, I wanted to try them. And it's not like I need more watercolors, but I just thought this was a really cute little idea. So it's kind of like that little, um, I think it's like a holder for beads that I've seen before, but basically you just kind of move this and you can only get to one paint color at a time, which I know isn't the most convenient thing, but I just thought it was adorable. It'd be great for travel. And it's a great way to get a little sample of someone's paint. So I thought this was kind of cute. Um, these are the colors that are in this particular little item so you get a nice little selection to try and um, you can actually oh this is cool it does tell you how you can um, remove the entire plastic thing so you can get to them all at once so that's awesome cute idea I'll put a link down below of course to all of these places and then the last thing I have to show you guys for this month is some artwork that I purchased basically kind of some postcard type things again I told you guys I'd kind of gotten into that, and um, I have. This uh, particular set is from Angela Kennedy. Um, again, I follow her on uh, Instagram, and I can't honestly remember if that's where I found her or not, but she's on Etsy. That's her information, but I will put the link down below in case you're interested. Um, just look at the cute card. I love that. That will be going into my journal. Um, had a cute little thank you sticky on it, which will also go into my journal. And then I bought just kind of a sampling of her girls. Now, I bought these because, aside from being beautiful, which they are, I like to be able to kind of look at the way people make the different faces, the way they do hair, the way they, you know, do a nose or whatever, because I'm trying to figure out my own style. So I really like to have these um, around to kind of look at and get inspiration from. Um, what I have found, and I'm just going to show these to you as I talk, um, what I have found is that by trying to get the shape of someone's, you know, to, to mimic the shape that someone else has drawn for lips or nose or eyes or something else, it helps me figure out what I like in my own style, if that makes sense. And I just think hers are gorgeous. And I tried to get kind of a sampling of ones that were different to a degree. Obviously, you know, an artist is going to have some similarities, but I'll explain what I meant in just a minute when you can see all of them. 
So these are the three biggest. Now I got these um, because first of all, I love them. I love the coloring, um, you know, the the color that she used. Um, I just, I, and I love it. I love also the difference in the hairstyles so that, you know, you have this one where it's all, you know, pulled together down here, a little bit more um, line work, and I'm probably not using the right terms because I'm a total amateur, but just gorgeous. And then this one to me looks more like a vintage or retro. I love the smaller hair. I love, or the shorter hair. And I love that you can see, you know, she's kind of drawn some strands out to the side. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. And then this one I really liked because of the color difference, meaning she showed kind of a real red hair here and then made it very dark so it looks like the back of her hair. I just thought it was very, very cool. So those are the three large ones that I got. They're gorgeous. And then I got two small ones, which are very different. This one, which I just, I love the expression, the big eyes, and it's just, I think they're just really, really pretty. And then this one, I just loved kind of the way um, this was done. And it's just, it feels very different and very retro. And, you know, I love, um, the way she kind of followed up with the neck and the shoulders and this, you know, off the shoulder draping of fabric or whatever she's wearing. I just loved it. I thought it was gorgeous. So I picked these up. Um, I'm probably going to be doing something with these three larger ones. I don't know if I'll frame them or, or what, but um, eventually these will get taped into an art journal at some point. But um, they're all set up to be postcards. These aren't going anywhere. These are mine, um, at least as far as I can as far as I can say right now. But um, anyway, they're just gorgeous. And I don't know that she's anyone that watches my videos, but Angela, if you do, they're absolutely beautiful and you did just a lovely job with them. I also wanna mention that I loved this one because it felt, you know, very collage and um, kind of mixed media like to me. And I just thought it was very cool. So anyway, there are all my goodies. That is it for the month of September. Um, I don't know how much I'll be getting in October because I'm really trying to be pretty good. I think I have one order. Actually, I think that's all I have right now is just one order. So we will see. Um, I will be doing a September's favorites this time because I do have some favorites from September that I'm going to share with you guys. And if you have any questions, let me know. Like I said, links for everything should be down at the bottom. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I hope you're having a great day wherever you're at. Bye, everyone.